Hey guys, Bill here. Coming at you with another video about Dungeness Crabs. So, uh, a little something to know the season. The season opens November 1st and goes until June 30. And, and the size limit is um, 5 and 3 quarters inches you can keep. Uh, you don't want to measure with a measuring tape. Um, I advise you to get like one of these. You can get these at your local uh, bait shop or fishing tackle store and and what we're going to use today are um, are these crab snares you just put whatever bait you want anchovy squid uh, any meat some people use chicken and clamp it down and cast it and i'll show you a video about uh, a good place to cast and uh, i want i add a weight like this i use a snap swivel to hold it so um so I can get some distance and uh, keep my bait on the bottom. So um, hopefully I'll, I'll hook up and uh, we'll see you then. Uh, I also forgot to mention that uh, the limit per day is 10 crabs. And um, yeah. Okay, let me tell you guys about the gear to use. I have a 12 foot heavy action fishing pole, um, a surf cast reel with 80 pounds braid. This is my sturgeon setup, and I use braid because braid doesn't stretch, and you need that you need that tightness when uh, when you're reeling it in. So when you cast, you want to get as close to the water as you can, and throw past the waves. And one thing to keep in mind, you gotta have one of these sand spikes. Hey, just wait for the crab now. One thing I forgot to mention, you want to reel your line so it's a little tight so it's not rubbing against the sand. Because your your line will collect sand and it'll go straight to your reel and that will damage your reel. Okay, I'm about to check my trap. So what you want to do, if you want to pull it and step back as you reel so you want to keep a tight tension so the crab don't come off never leave slack he's full of shit there we go we got one This is a small one, but that's what you want to do. Okay, I caught two this time. So, when you hold the crab, you want to hold the claws, or you can press it against the body. Get the snares out. I'll do the other one later. But, when you release it in the water, don't just throw it in the shallow end. You gotta go to the water and throw it away. That's it. Omar's turn. There you go.
We're using squid this time. Nah. Yeah. Anything will work because the season this year and last year, 2013, was really good with Dungeness. And I also forgot to tell you guys that you can only catch Dungeness outside the Golden Gate Bridge. Inside the Golden Gate Bridge is, is uh, closed all year to Dungeness. There it goes. That's a small one, but we're gonna release it. All right, guys, we got one. I'm gonna show you the correct way to measure it. I'm just gonna put my boot here so I can stay in place. So you see these two points on the side? Right here and right here. You want to measure inside the point right here. Not right here, no. Right here, yes. And if your if your thing doesn't fit, it see it's hitting right here. It's hitting. That's a keeper. If it fits inside inside this small groove, then throw it back. But we're taking this one home. So my buddy Omar here just became a victim of the dungeonist crab. They hurt. Take off your ring. Look at that. He's right through the skin. That's why you gotta be careful when you hold these crabs. Ha ha. We caught a female one. You, when you catch these, you wanna let these go because this is uh, the future generation of the Dungeonist crab. So, uh, and the locals will get mad at you. So he's gonna set the crab free. The good man he is. I'm not bringing the there you go, majestical. <laughs>